I've seen fan opinions split on Carmine pretty intensely. One can't believe she's a flat-out abusive older sister who helps Spurs Kieran's descent into madness. Others tend to brush this off as her being just the older sister, and who doesn't have a harsh older sibling? Even the responses to Carmine forcing you to lie to Kieran is rather heated. If you agree with Carmine's sentiment that Kieran would do something stupid like go up and chase after the ogre in the middle of the night, then you probably feel vindicated when Kieran does do something stupid. If you disagree with Carmine's sentiment, you probably think Kieran doing something stupid was, well, the fate you wanted to avoid so badly ended up being met on the road taken to it. So, where do I sit on the whole Carmine issue? I called Kieran the best character in a previous video, but this does not imply I hate Carmine by any means. I do like the idea of Carmine and Kieran. Carmine starts out much colder and more hostile than her brother. She does eventually warm up to you, revealing her fears of her home turning into a massive tourist trap. Kieran, on the other hand, grows very friendly with you, and then very hostile, actively closing himself off from you. On a thematic level, this is good. I like the idea of siblings swapping niches in a storyline. However, them swapping niches probably highlighted the biggest problem with Carmine. You see, Kieran actually does something. He gets a whole arc to himself. The Teal Mask and Indigo Disc ultimately do way more for Kieran than they do for Carmine, and, well, that makes sense, he's the main antagonist. Carmine's story really just ends at the end of Teal Mask. She is a superfluous character in Indigo Disc. To recap what she did in Teal Mask, she's hostile to you, story makes her warm up to you, you leave on good terms. What does she do in Indigo Disc? She shows you her brother has lost his mind, gets snarky with Drayton, shows up to see her brother lose, and then joins you in stumbling around Area Zero for an hour in a very boring dungeon. Oh, and in the epilogue she spends most of her time possessed. Carmine is just there, and that's my problem. She opens up to you, and then that's it. She gets overshadowed by her brother, whose story builds upon the themes established in the base game. If you played Scarlet, Sada built a dream around an idealized past, much like how Kieran built a dream on an idealized version of Ogre Pond from a legend. For Violet, Turo saw the idealized future and wanted to have that so badly. This is Kieran becoming obsessed with Terrapagos because he believes in a future where he wins over you. Obsession with their own toxic dreams destroyed Sada and Turo. Just like how Kieran's obsession with his toxic dream nearly led to his own demise. It is only after this endeavor that he can truly let it go. Remind me what Carmine does? She gets over her suspicion of outsiders. Let me remind you, Drayton was more involved in the plot of Indigo Disc than Carmine. I mean, even if you didn't want to write an alternate version of a story where Carmine takes Drayton's role as the person who spurs you to beat Kieran, there was still plenty of room for her to have some kind of arc. She was dismissive of Kieran's feelings throughout the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc, brushing it off as, it's just a phase, and teen angst. Like, it seems like this had hurt Carmine as a character for me because she comes off as an idiot, but if we turn this into an arc, this would fix it. What's funny is that they introduce a character who doesn't express emotions well, but is actually pretty emotionally aware, and quite frankly, is better at reading people than Carmine. All this feels like is that we're setting up a conflict about Carmine being more considerate about people's feelings, only for it to not come to fruition. And we're just left annoyed at the game for not fleshing out this conflict at all? There is an argument to be made that her abrasive attitude not being called out is somehow vindicating it or endorsing it, but that's neither here nor there. I don't personally believe it, but I have seen that interpretation pop up. To wrap this all up, Carmine does have an arc about opening up, but the relationships she forms are quite underdeveloped and could have led into a larger story for her. This is especially bad since Scarlet and Violet decided to focus less on lore, Terrapagos being the biggest offender, and more on relationships between characters, and 
Carmine's relationships between her and her brother and the player character and just in general are not that developed at all. I am aware the League Club exists to have these character interactions, but in the main campaigns, she isn't developed well with these other characters. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.